welcome back. Stasis 23 here, back again with some knife therapy. And today I have a triple semi unboxing for y'all. I have the two knives that I picked up from a New West Knife Works uh, when I was in Utah on a ski trip with the family. And I also picked up a new petrified fish knife and uh, we'll take a look at each one of these we'll put these off this off to the side for right now and there's a knife underneath here but it's not in a bag or anything so had to hide it so the first knife that i picked up from them was dun, da, 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 another bradford knife this one right here i had plenty of people suggest this one to me when, when i was uh when i was trying to find the perfect um uh edc fixed blade and after handling this one at uh, New West Knife Works, uh, I fell in love with it. So the same um, horizontal scalp carry sheath that they, they give with all their knives, they also have the little magnet retention in there. And this is the three and a half inch. Uh, very, very similar in overall looks to the, um, what is it? Uh, man, I I did the head to head with the same company with the Backpacker Pro. Who was it? White Mountain Knives? No, not White Mountain. White White River Knives? Maybe <laughs> I can't think. It's White River Knives. Uh, Backpacker Pro has that same profile. Uh, this one feels like it might be a little bit bigger of a knife. Um, if I do a full review on this one later, maybe I'll show. This one is three and a half inch blade. Uh, it Bowler M390 steel feels good in the hand. It even has that deep choil like that White River knife has. Uh, comfortable, very comfortable in hand. It has these thick, robust, uh, contoured can. This is black canvas micarta, even though it has like hues of blue brown in it. But I don't know nice thickness especially back here in the back where i get a really good grip on this one i think this one's going to become an excellent uh user it feels like a more robust heavier user that white river was a, a really good slicer it was it felt like it was a little thinner behind the edge in this one uh but maybe i'll do a head-to-head -head with that one because the white river beat out the bradford guardian 3 for me uh just on the type of cutting i like to do so maybe I will put this one head to head because I did order some uh, scales for my my White River Knife Backpacker Pro or whatever whatever that one's called. Uh, so if y'all want to see a head to head between this one and that one, y'all let me know because I think that would make for a fun video. I enjoy using these uh, EDC Fix blades. And uh, let's see what's in this package. This is how they package the knife up for me uh looks looks too nice uh let's see let's see nice paper with all their uh knives so what knife did i pick up well i've been to this place twice so i figured i had to buy one of their one of their knives because I, I like a bunch of them i just could never decide which one so being that i picked up one edc fixed blade Here's the one I picked up. So this right here is their bird and trout. This is a special one. See, this is a semi-custom bird and trout. Ooh, nice little sheath, nicely done. And here is the knife. Ooh, that is beautimous. Look at those scales. I showed this in the video. I was trying to decide between this one and the box elder. This right here is uh, Buckeye Burl, and man, I think Buckeye Burl, uh, all the Burl, Burl Woods just look so good. And this one, once again, has that nice Coke bottle uh, thickness one right here. You can see they even knock off this edge right there so you don't have a pokey spot right here. This thing is so comfortable. Rockwell to, I think, 60 to 61 S35 VN Steel. Look how, look, nice and thin. They even got it kind of rounded up here in the top so you don't have any sharp edges. This thing is going to slice amazing. 
I know this is probably, you know, geared toward, uh, you know, processing small game more so, but with this curvature in that handle, the way it fills out the hand, wish y'all could feel that. It is so comfortable. I think this is going to make an outstanding, outstanding EDC fixed blade. Uh, if y'all want to see a full review on this one, let me know. Because I, I, I probably will regardless. I just think it, it deserves a full dedicated review. Especially if you're into EDC fixed blades. Uh, nice wet form sheath. Kind of, you know, got that, that hard feeling to it. It, it goes in there nicely has a nice positive uh, push in there and that's the two fixed blades that I picked up while I was at New West Knife Works in uh, Park City Utah uh, I'm very happy with both of these and let's check out the new petrified fish knife that I picked up let me put these off to the side let's see why put those okay so I I saw this one on Amazon I thought it looked interesting and it looks like it'd be a good slicer um, let's see let's get it out this right here is the petrified fish model PFE01 and it's a, another folding cleaver with a window that you can see through here. Black G10 on this one, there was several different options. These are contoured scales. Let's check out this action. Nice action. Nice stone wash. You got that high flat grind. Nice. This one's in uh, Bowler K110, basically D2. Um, I've tested the the uh, petrified fish full-size beluga is also in the k110 and it did outstanding action on this knife is pretty darn good it's not even broken yet can you thumb yeah you can open it up with your thumb Let's see forward finger choil is a little small for a usable forward finger choil i could use it by like holding back like that if i wanted to but as far as like really getting in there, which I think would have been great, it's kind of hard to get my finger in there. It's just not not that large. But as a sharpening child, it should work fine. It should work really well. You should have a lot of sharpening life in there. It feels like it be it's ground decently thin. Let's see. Yeah, you can kind of see right here. It's it's ground pretty pretty well. So. Uh, Y'all let me know down below if y'all want to see a dedicated review on this guy. Deep carry pocket clip, tip up right hand carry only. Um, that that arc right there is really what sold me on this one. I knew it would be pretty darn comfortable. Now, these holes in there kind of feel funny in the hand. I don't know how that's going to translate in actual use. But when I'm squeezing down on there, it is a little uncomfortable. Just because I have all these little things, you know kind of pushing into my hand and uh, I don't know if y'all want to see a full review we'll have to see how it fares in the actual testing I like the stone wash it's a nice uniform stone wash there's their logo nice uh, it's like smooth G10 but it's not like slick or anything you still get a little bit of traction access to the lock bar it's pretty good um, they have this texture on the lock bar. Nicely done though, that little texture. It actually grips grips your thumb where it's not uncomfortable. You can get to it. It's it's not like the easiest in the world, but you can get to it. Now this flipper tab is, you know, kind of low to the pivot, so you're not getting as much momentum, but the detent is dialed in nice, so it does flip well, and you have a lot of mask in this heavy blade. So these are the knives I have for y'all today. We have the Bradford Guardian 3.5. We have the Petrified Fish PFE01 and the Oh So Beautiful New West Knifework Bird and Trout Knife. Let me know what y'all think about these three. Uh, which ones y'all want to see reviews on and which one y'all want to see reviews on first. Alright guys and girls, I hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.